Good morning everyone. Hi, hello, my name is EJ and I am back again with another narrated art time lapse video for us to watch and hopefully learn a thing or two from. Today we're going to be uh, taking a look at a photograph of me. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Yay, face reveal way back in the day. Um, not quite a face reveal because I do have a photograph uh, available on my channel, but that was me roughly 15 years ago when I was still in college. Oh, look at me with my baby face. So yeah, so anyways, let's go and talk about what the particular artwork is um, for today. So today we are taking a look at me doing an illustration called Test Pilots. Obviously there are two characters in the illustration one of them is obviously me the other one is my friend cassandra this is by the way before i forget this photograph was taken by a good friend of ours named stephanie ponder thank you thank you for giving me the chance to work with your particular photograph uh, to do this particular illustration so yeah but anyways going back to the illustration and talking about like how this got started and whatnot and where my idea came from um this photograph was about 15 years ago and when i saw stephanie ponder uh took the photo i kind of had the image in my head of test pilots uh, and part of the reason why i had that image in my head was because i was watching uh, the latest Macross series in that time, I think the one that came out was Macross Frontiers, and I was like so much into that anime that I was just like so addicted to it. I was so enamored with the idea of basically pilots, um, kind of like a man. Why am I forgetting that Marvel character? The Marvel character with wings, um, Falcon. Yeah, Falcon. Is that his name? Falcon? I think that's his name. I have to look this up. I have to double check. Um, let's see. Uh, okay. Uh, Marvel Falcon. Yep. Falcon. Okay. Anyway, so Falcon obviously has wings, right? He has like a small jetpack that he uses and whatnot. Now, um, I don't know about you, but this idea wasn't particularly brand new. Uh, obviously, Falcon has been around in uh, comic books uh, for some time. So obviously, the whole idea of a jetpack um, or of the whole idea of a person wearing a jetpack flying around has been around for quite some time. Um, there was, in fact, a movie with James Bond in it where they did a scene with a jetpack. But... Anyways, going back to my idea, I, I was watching Macross Frontier, and then I saw this photo uh, that Stephanie Ponder took of us when we were out one time, and I was just like, wow, I just saw the chance for an illustration for test pilots wearing jetpacks with wings, and I thought it would be cool. And so I started with that illustration way back in the day, uh, about 10, 15 years ago, and I didn't finish it. <laughs> so... Anyways, I basically dug up that old illustration, took a look at it, and I was like, wow, I really wanted to do something with this illustration because I never got the chance to finish it, right? And so I decided to make a speed paint out of it uh, way back last year, uh, January of last year. Uh, I just realized that was when I did this particular illustration. So I realized, you know what, I think it was time for me to actually finally do something with this illustration. So here I am, uh, I basically doing something about it. I took Stephanie Ponder's photo, uh, and of course I did my own edits to it, kind of added my own um, extra stuff to it. I basically just using my face and Cassandra's face uh, for the characters. Everything else is pretty much added. Of course, I glamorize us just a little bit, give it, make us look really much better looking. <laughs> Cause you know, it's not like we're like super built or anything. But yeah, I get myself some muscles, man. Look at that. I get myself some muscles. But anyways, um, obviously we're not gonna be wearing the outfit that we were wearing in the photograph because we're test pilots. Of course, we gotta have some high tech outfit of some sort. So here I am drawing a out this futuristic looking uh, bodysuit of some kind and so yeah basically I'm drawing this illustration of this two test pilots with jetpacks 
um, giving a thumbs up like they just did an exercise and they're just happy with the end result of it and so they were like hey yeah that was fun and so yeah um, I I'm really glad that I finally got around to like doing something about it um, versus the last time around I didn't really get to do anything about it so yeah this is really cool that I finally got to finish this idea of mine and finally see it in illustration format. Of course, this is a speed paint. It's not fully detailed. Um, I could develop this further and now that I'm talking about it, I'm kind of beginning to like the idea of maybe taking this farther. Um, so yeah, maybe sometime in the future I might actually take this illustration and add to it some more and make it look really more detailed than what it is uh, but for now it stands as a speed paint so it's loose it's rough but i think i do believe that that's part of the charm of it so now going to or let's talk about the process since i took some time to talk about where the idea came from and now that i got that down i think now it's a great time for me to talk about my process my process is the same in almost each and every single one of my speed paint if you've been watching some of my videos i really don't need to you pretty much know what's gonna happen for the most part um so obviously i'm in the sketching stage uh, i'm doing a loose sketch Sometimes I do a finer, cleaner sketch. Sometimes I just keep it loose as is. This is one of those rare instances where I'm just keeping everything loose and not getting too bogged down with too many uh, with too many fine details. So yeah, the the whole line work is going to be loose, comparatively speaking, um, compared to what I normally do when I when I do a finer line sketch. But yeah. Um, so everything starts out with a sketch uh, when I do my speed paints. It used to be before that I would never even start out with a sketch. I would, with a line sketch, I would typically just start out with forms and just start laying down some paint. But I've actually gone back from that. Uh, lately I've been doing the whole let's do an outline first because it just it makes it easier for me to kind of understand what's going on. And then I would lay down the forms. Um, but in this instance, I'm doing the line sketch first. And then after I'm done with the line sketch, I'm going to end up basically coloring it, laying down some of my forms. You can see that I took another photo from textures that, sorry, um, textures.com. I, I wasn't about to say pixels or textures.com. I'm not sure. And I <laughs> apologize for that message. Uh, when I was working on this illustration, I was streaming with a group of friend to a group of friend of mine, uh, so they were watching me make this, and so that was what that message was for. I was letting them know that I'm gonna go eat dinner, so I'll be right back, and then I just got done, and so here I am, uh, starting all over again. Um, but, anyways, <laughs> going back to what I was talking about. Uh, Oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, the photograph. The photograph, I do believe, came from textures.com. Uh, this photograph that we're looking at in the background of the road with the number 52 in it. Well, the 52 I added, obviously, but the other one is just a photograph of a road. It's a texture, basically. Um, so now when I get from textures.com, I figured it would be just easier to just have something down uh, from a photograph so I didn't have to fiddle around with what the look of the road is. My original idea was that they were in a runway of some sort. I also thought of the idea that they might be on an aircraft carrier of some sort. Um, that's not very clear in the illustration. Uh, they could be in both places. I mean, the road that we're taking a look at could look like it could be in a ship, an aircraft carrier, or it could also be in a runway from in an airport or whatnot. Um, I'm keeping the interpretation up to you guys because I didn't really think too much about it but um but I knew that I just wanted this scene basically where you know we're just hanging out um where it looks like me and Cassandra just got done doing some sort of test pilot you know test of some sort and that somebody took a candid photograph of us and we're giving a thumbs up hey it was a great test you know thank you for the support kind of deal and so that's what the idea I have in my head basically so 
But anyways, uh, so I took that photograph, I laid it down, and obviously I did this quick coloring thing that I do with my random mech brush. Um, well, the brush is by David Ravoy. Uh, he's the one who created a brush. Um, I use this brush to just lay down some colors. Um, they're kind of messy looking, as you can see, um, before I took them out. And the reason why I have them messy looking is because I knew eventually I'm going to just merge everything in one layer and smudge everything around. When I smudge everything around, what I'm trying to aim for is to preservation of the shapes, the main shapes. And then I'm just going to smudge all my outline and all the colors. Um, and basically my whole thing is just to come up with this base paint, this base layer, this one layer that I will eventually work all my details on. Um, so I'm about getting ready to do that. I'm adding my final tweaks to the image. I'm doing my lighting changes. Um, I'm making it look like a sunset, obviously. That's why the reason why I did a lot of curve edits, just to make it look like it's a sunset. Um, and then as soon as I have that down, I start my smudging thing. Uh, you can see I'm smudging in the background. I started smudging in the background. Um, and I'm working all around the main figure first. Um, because I really want to preserve as much of the um, figures. And the thing with smudging is, depending on how you smudge, it can ruin what's already present. Because basically what a smudge does is that it mixes all the adjacent colors. Right? And when you do that, you kind of end up with this whole um, painterly looking thing. I mean, you could see the ground right now before it was... A realistic looking photograph and all of a sudden now is this painterly looking thing and this is basically what I'm trying to get at uh, or what I'm trying to end up with you know it used to be that I was trying to do this whole photorealism thing and nowadays I'm really trying to go for a more painterly look which is what I'm really after and that's the reason why I smudge everything around and try to smudge them uh, as much as I can into recognizable shapes so that once I start working on my detailing process I could basically you know get a better idea of where things are if I preserve the shapes so and then when I do my detailing process it's basically a three-step process that I repeat in sections all the way throughout the illustration I typically delineate my edges which means I make my edges sharper so my shapes read clearer I accentuate my shadows, um, so basically if my shadows need a little darkening, I darken it a little bit. And then I had highlights, and so basically I re repeat the three-step process all the way throughout until I'm done detailing my piece. So yeah, uh, that's what you guys are going to be watching me do in the next few minutes. Right now I'm smudging, and then after I'm done with the smudging, I will start my detailing. And so yeah, just watch the show for now. I'll come back later on with my with more of my thoughts about this particular piece and what I think about it and what could have been done better and yet it all and all that good stuff. So yeah.
So as you can see, I've started detailing um, the characters. Uh, I have obviously started on Cassandra and working on Cassandra. Um, you see, you have just seen me do a few edits from the original sketch. In the original sketch, I had both arms down. But when I was flipping the image, it kind of ended up looking like she was slightly unbalanced. So I ended up having to redo her pose a little bit to where she had her hand on her hip um, that makes it look uh, that made it look like her pose is a little bit more natural than it was from before um, one thing to note also was that I really wasn't going for likeness at all uh, even though I do have the original photo by Stephanie Ponder to refer to you know I mean I could have spent some time in making it look like these two characters are me and Cassandra. Uh, but I really wasn't aiming for that. I was really aiming more for speed because it is a speed paint. That's what I wanted this to be. Um, as evident from the title card at the very beginning of the video, this piece was done in three and a half hours. So uh, you could tell that I was really just going for a more impressionistic look rather than a fully detailed look. So. Again, if I do decide to ever develop this piece, um, kind of like what I mentioned earlier where I was thinking about maybe possibly developing this piece some more. If I ever do, then yeah, I would definitely try and do the whole go for likeness uh, and whatnot. But as for now, I'm not. Uh, I'm just really just keeping it loose as much as I can. Um, so yeah. Um, and now that I'm looking at it, I just realized there's like quite a lot of things that it kind of just bugs me about it. This is the thing about speed paint, you know. Uh, speed paint really is more about the overall presentation rather than the little details in it. Uh, now that I'm like looking at it, I see that there's a lot of details that need like a lot of fixing. So um, one of the things that has just been bothering me while I'm watching this is that highlight that I added on Cassandra's right arm like that highlight shouldn't be there because her wings would have been casting a shadow on her arm so her arm wouldn't be as lit as it is now so uh, that would be something that I would definitely have to take a look at fixing if I do develop this piece some more um so yeah, but I just kept noticing, I just kept looking at it when, I, when I'm watching this video, I'm like, oh, I wish I had fixed that. So yeah, I'm trying to remember if I did or not, but I couldn't. So, um, but yeah, uh, this is again a speed paint, so I'm not too obsessed with perfectionism at this point. And the cool thing about speed paint is that you can just be really, really loose and just be very expressive with your motion. You could see uh, me when I'm working on my armor slash uniform right now. You can see that I'm very, very loose with it. And I kept changing a lot of the design. Like I laid down some design, but I wasn't too married to it. And that's the whole point of speed paints is that you're not really supposed to be married to the design. You're supposed to just keep it loose and just keep it flowing, basically. And so in this regard, I was just kind of just going with the flow. Um, just trying to come up with something uh, cool looking and so yeah so far the armor works for me so I'm just keeping everything as is um, and you could also see that I'm very loose with detailing things too like with the hands I could have detailed the hands some more Cassandra's left hand is a great example it just looks like one big huge blob but somehow the amount of details I put on there just works because it's indicative of a hand you know instead of just a blob so yeah but anyways this piece is almost done it is one of my favorite speed paints i have done there are a lot of errors in it but i am okay with it because it is a speed paint and speed paints are supposed to have an errors in it um so yeah for the speed that i've done it with it did come out good so i am very very much happy with it uh, i'm not complaining too much about it so yeah and yeah, here it is, practically done. I think at one point in time I wrote down uh, somewhere on here any final notes, which I think I'm about to do. I'm about to write it. Yeah, there I am. 
again uh, like I mentioned I was streaming this to my group of friends and they were watching me do this so I wanted to ask them what they think and I think they gave me the okay they were happy with it so yeah and here it is it's done thank you guys for watching this with me I hope you guys learned a thing or two from it uh, like and subscribe I'll catch you guys in the next video good night